looked like I just licked the bottom of a brand new shoe. So today we're going to be going through our bar and picking out a bunch of bottles that we regretted buying and we're going to be making drinks with them because we got to get rid of them some sometime. Somehow. Somehow. Some way. <laughs> and I'd just like to point out that most of the bottles were picked out by Jeffrey. That's me. Okay, let's go pick out our bottles. Here is our lineup. We got a macadamia nut rum, two liqueurs, a tequila, galliano, another rum, and then a whiskey. We're first gonna go through and do a little sampling of each. Start with this one. Sammy's Beach Bar Rum. Redhead Macadamia Nut Rum. We're only getting in my experience, this much. Mixing it in a cocktail, you only need probably this much. Any more, it's, it just it's overpowers very everything strong. else. It's very strong. I can smell it already. Cheers. It tastes good. It tastes worse by itself. It's better diluted with other flavors. Just by itself like this is just too strong. You could pour that over ice cream or something. You know how some people like to pour their liquor oh, yeah, over like, um, sweets? Like grenadine? They, yeah, it's a boozy grenadine. We should make the drink recipe that's on the back of all these bottles because that would be like the most recommended thing, right? I suppose. I don't think this one has one though. So I looked up a recipe called the Sammy Hager's Maui Rocker. Original recipe is one and a half ounces of the rum, one and a half ounce pineapple juice, one ounce fresh sour. What is that? Yes, and lemon. Half ounce orange curacao, one fourth ounce grenadine. That's weird. I it's, feel like it's close to being good. I feel like the macadamia nut doesn't belong in that drink. Cause the macadamia nut is so sweet and I don't think it mixes with the lemon orange. Yeah. I mean, it's not terrible though. On to the next drink. Woo! Number two. Is it creme de cacao or is it creme de cacao? I think it's creme de cacao. It's just chocolate. There's two different kinds of creme de cacao. There's white chocolate, or no, it's, it's clear. And then there's the dark. Not to be confused with white chocolate and milk chocolate. Smells like chocolate vodka. That's strange. Yeah, on the back of this one is a grasshopper, but we don't have those ingredients. It's this mint green and sweet cream. We should mix it with the next one. What's the next one? Banana. I've done that mixture before. It does not turn out as good as you think it would. Let's try this one now too. Okay. I feel the chocolate in my eyeballs. Ugh. Smells like a banana laffy taffy. Did you say you feel the chocolate in your eyeballs? Yeah. Tastes like a banana laffy taffy too. It's not terrible. That one's not bad actually. But it's yeah. just, it's not something you're gonna make every single day, like a banana drink. I think I can make that work with something. Probably well, the strawberry rum. Oh my God, strawberry banana cocktail. Oh. Well, the recipe on the back of the banana one is a banana daiquiri. Three fourth ounce banana, one and a half ounce rum, juice of half a lemon, one half teaspoon sugar. That doesn't sound bad. It does sound kind of weird though. You do the Malibu chocolate thing and I'll do this. I have the Malibu strawberry in here and I mix it with the chocolate brandy. I just eyeballed it too. Joking. That's all it is? I mean, I didn't really think it needed anything else. It probably does. I'm not a fan. What's and this? I have the banana daiquiri. It's very sour. <laughs> it is very sour. Wow. It's a half of a lemon. I don't even taste the banana. There's like a whole ounce of the banana. That's a no from me. Both no's. And if you have any suggestions, please. Moving on to the next. My you Galliano. Like, but I'll take this one. Galliano is disgusting. It is basically anise flavored. Oh, the sausage flavored, Italian sausage flavored liquor. Smells like Santa's favorite cookies. Fennel, you know, the tiny little watermelons that you see on pizzas. What we have here on the back of this bottle of pizza watermelons is a Galliano Sour. Two ounces Galliano, one ounce fresh lemon juice, fourth part simple syrup, dash Angostura. We could definitely do something like this. Okay, I'll be here. I <laughs> Oh, I want to do a little. We're not going to do a shot. We got to sample it. 
I don't really want to do this one, but okay. Here, let me rinse these yeah, out. Yeah, go rinse these real quick. I will entertain. <laughs> to the makers of Italian sausage. It literally smells like sausage. <laughs> if you love licorice, this is for you. That is a teeny tiny little drink. Oh yeah, I had half the dose because I was like, no thank you. Actually, it smells like bottle caps. That, that uh, Wonka candy. It does. Candy. It tastes like bottle caps too. Does it? It's not bad. Licorice isn't that strong. Oh! Oh man! Maybe we could drink this bottle. Oh, it tastes like bottle caps. It kind of tastes like root beer. It tastes like bottle caps. The root beer bottle cap. Yep. So anyways, I was talking to my dad about Galliano and he said when he owned a bar, back in the 70s, there's this really popular drink called a Harvey Wallbanger and it was vodka, orange juice, and Galliano. And he said that's what everyone ordered. So I want to try that, but we don't have any orange juice. That's actually really good though. I mean, from something that I hate by itself, pretty good. Anyway. Next, we have the tequila. This was a Jeffrey purchase. It's Centario. They all were Jeffrey purchases. I know some people are fans of Centario, and really? it's good. I've never even really heard of it. Just that I'm not a tequila guy. This is like a sipping tequila. I bought this with the purpose of mixing, and it is not a mixing drink. That being said, we're just gonna drink it. it smells like tequila. Warm up. <laughs> What the? <laughs> Sorry. I did equal for me. Well, this is, does not seem secure at all. For Do easy pouring. That affects the taste, maybe, because it's not sealed. It's not. Art, art, art. <laughs> I don't want to shoot this. Uh, uh, uh. I hate shooting tequila. Cheers to shooting tequila. Why do you say shooting? It's bad. It's bad. Smoky gravel taste to it. He said the gravel's not that bad. Are we going to make a drink with that one? Uh, we just shot it. Next, we have Deadhead Oaked Aged. Wait, Oaked? Hold on a second. It's Cast Aged Oaked? Oak Aged No, no, no. Cast. Deadhead Cast Aged Rum. So if you've seen our bar video, you saw Jeffrey was dying over this dark chocolate rum. They were out of this one in the store for a long time and we couldn't find it. And then we saw that this one came up and we we're like, oh, they just changed the packaging. So we bought this, realized it's not the same at all. Unlike most rums, this is a Mexican rum. Lots of leather flavor to is it. it. Yeah, it's made in Mexico. Oh yeah, I love leathery liquor. Honestly, it's not that bad. I've made drinks with it before, but compared to all the other rums we have, it's pretty terrible. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oops. We need pliers. What a cheap ass. Watch your mouth. What a cheap cap. <laughs> Anyways, it, it was a cool bottle until that happened, but it has a little shot glass as the cap. I don't want to do it. Because I know I don't like this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. It's leathery. I don't even want to make a drink with that. That's disgusting. You could do that with like... No, no, no. It's okay. Yeah, we'll move on. That's... Just, oh. Honestly, we can pour it down the drain and I wouldn't be that mad. We could lose it. We could go donate it. Yeah, bring it to a friend's house and just leave it there. <laughs> I do not recommend. Ugh. Next drink we have. It is Old Smoky Moonshine Mango Habanero Whiskey. Whiskey with a little bit of spice and tang. It smells sweet, like mango. No, it tastes like whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that burn at the end. <laughs> it's got like some spice. <clears throat> All of the spice comes at the end. We talked about the old lemonade. We talked about it in the bar video. We talked about it in the bar video. If you didn't see that bar video, watch it. There's gonna be a link right here. Whoa! Right there, I think. Oh, it'll be right. It'll be right. Whoa! Right here. But yeah, Dole made lemonade, and we have their strawberry lemonade. So I took that, makes the mango habanero whiskey, and uh, we'll see what we have here. It's a spicy, like, fruit roll up. You know? Mm 
-hmm. I think I would like it if it didn't have that after spice spiciness. <laughs> the, the extra spice is a bit much. Uh, anyways, we have gone through our bottles that we have regret buying. Should we rank them? Let's rank them. So we're gonna do worst to best because me is the best. The worst. Deadhead, Oak Dage, Cast, whatever it is. Second worst. Sammy's. Sammy's. It's not bad. It's just, it's really hard to mix something with that and make it work. Third worst. What? Spicy? No? You disagree? What do you think would be third worst instead? Probably the chocolate. Okay. Do you think this would be fourth worst then? No. What? I like that a lot. It's just so spicy. I like my spice. I don't I'm not a big complainer when it comes to spice. Okay, what about that? I would say. This is how I would rate it, from worst to best. We start with the rum and we end with the mango habanero whiskey. How would you rate it? Interesting choice. I didn't think the banana one was that bad. I do like this one, except for the spicy aftertaste. It's just too much for me. I'm just so The just... tequila is a tequila. It's just, we don't usually buy darker tequilas. Of all of the worst, this is worst to best. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Okay, get these out of here. Old lady at 12 o'clock. <laughs> Do you know what movie that's from? Mm -hmm. Harry Potter. Oh, I also wanted to talk about these. What's that you have in your hand? Truly came out with teas recently. We're not sponsored by Truly. No, but I wish we were. You heard it here first. Make it happen. They're actually really good. They're not like twisted teas. I do like twisted teas, but twisted teas are too sweet. These are just the, just the right amount. Yeah, actually that's not that bad. And they're more flavorful than the seltzers. Seltzers. What is it? Seltzer. And yeah, hope you liked this video. If you haven't done already, super smash that like button. Subscribe. Subscribe. Oh Cheers God. to regretful decisions and living with them. Wait, we should make... Oh, you actually drink it. I did.